Hi children, how are you? I hope you are well today and you are ready for children's church this day. I hope you are welcome, welcome to children's church today. I hope you are ready. So get mommy and daddy there with you. Get your Bible, get your notebooks, get your pens to get ready to just learn the word of God and teacher Judy is going to teach us today and I hope you are ready to also worship the Lord through music today and so briefly what did we learn last week do you remember what we learned last week huh what did you learn we learned from tiny 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 insects what are they called ants yes we learned from ants and we said go consider the ways of the ants for us to live wise to be wise and not to be foolish we need to learn to live in the ways of the ant we need to learn the ways of the ant and so i hope you have been learning you have been practicing you have been doing what we learned last week okay i hope you have been doing that and so this week i want us to also continue learning the word of god okay and i would like to bring us our memory verse for this week did i say that we have a memory verse this week yes and it comes from the book of john chapter 15 verse 5 this is what the word of god says I am the vine, you are the branches, he who abides in me, and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. And these are the words of Jesus, and Jesus is saying, children, that when we stay with God, when we stay with Jesus, we are connected with Jesus, we are reading the word of God, we are praying every day. Jesus will stay with us. Jesus will be connected to us. He will live in us. Do you want Jesus to live in you? Aha, uh -huh, good. You need to then live in Jesus. Continue being connected with Jesus. And so that's our memory verse for this week. John chapter 15 verse 5. Memorize it. Send me a video. Do a skit. Do a rap. Whatever it is that you can do, do it. Tell mommy and daddy to send me a video so that we put it on our next week's service okay i hope you are ready today for children's church let us pray as we go ahead and have children's church hands together heads bow go ahead and kneel if you want to kneel and let's pray our father and our king we thank you today even as we get to do church be with us give us strength to worship you open our ears to hear your word we open our hearts to receive your word and lord even as we worship you may our praises rise up to you as a sweet smelling sacrifice we love you and we thank you for today be with us even as we do church in jesus name we pray amen i love you children and here comes teacher judy I hope you are all well you are doing well you have been okay the Lord has kept you in good health and he's been able to provide for you even during this difficult season I am well and I'm so excited to be here with you this morning as we have been ushered by Pastor Sheila into the presence of God we are just going to go ahead and you know pour out our hearts open our ears open our eyes to hear and see all that god has for us today so last week we were learning from the ants learning from the ants the tiny tiny animals that we see walking moving around our homes eh? and we say that these tiny animals are very wise without a commander someone to tell them what to do they are able to gather food keep them they are able to do things without complaining without looking at who is doing and who is not doing and so you are telling ourselves that we need to be like them go out to do things because we know that they are right 
and I hope you have been doing that at home right children and so today we are doing a sermon which we are only going to do for this Sunday probably we might begin a sermon series next Sunday but this one we are going to learn about something that we all need to hear an encouragement because I know this year 2020 has not been an easy year has it been an easy year for you has it it hasn't been it has been a year where we we have done things maybe for some of us things that we never thought we will be able to do things that we had not seen coming others have been left at that place where they are just been complaining others are still wondering what is all this that is happening how comes these things are happening but what we are telling us today is that we have a god who makes sense of every season whether they seem good or bad to us he makes sense of them because he's the one who brings all these seasons to us and so in connection with that we are going to learn from a certain young man from the bible this person i would say went through um, maybe something worse than what we have gone through this year yes worse we have not gone, not even half of what he went through. But he did not let that put him down. He was able to hear the word of God, take, got hold of it and ran with it and was able to become victorious, became someone who was famous in a foreign land. Are you guessing who that was? Uh-huh. So... Putting that in hold, be, let us now go into the presence of God and worship God even as we prepare to get to hear all about this young man. Eh? Rise up on your feet, raise your hands, you clap your hands, shout where you need to shout, jump if the Holy Spirit is leading you to jump all for the glory and honor of god so children rise up on your feet and let us praise the lord in songs
I hope you stood on your feet, you worshipped God, you blessed his name for the things that he has done. Like I was saying about this year, that has been difficult. Yes, it's true. But in to some extent, it has been a fruitful year to other people. Depending with what you have done, have you been just sitting down and complaining? Have you been so stubborn to do things differently from the way you are used to? Or you are this person who went all out even when everything else just seemed like it's not moving. You said your life will not become still. And you went out and did things and you know you just began doing new things and you have grown and done things that you never thought you would do and you have prospered in them and now you have become someone who is able to do things from a different way from what you are used to oh are you this other group of people who are just sitting down waiting for when things will go back to normal for when they will go back to school for those who are used were not going are not going to school right now are you that kind of a person i know there are some people who have gone back to school and others are still at home so maybe you are looking and wondering oh god when are we going to go back does it mean that god has forgotten all about me does it mean that school has all of a sudden come to an end mm -mm. today we are going to encourage ourselves in the Lord. We are going to learn from the word of God and learn from this young man. And I believe with all my heart that the lessons that we are going to learn today, if we put them into practice, we are going to move forward with God. Remember I said that God is the one who makes sense of all these seasons, whether they seem good or bad to us. And so children, let us get to our Bibles. I hope you were prepared you have your bible you had your notebook and your pen right so let's have our bibles let's raise them up uh -huh, and say this this is my bible it is the holy word of god i love my bible it is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path as i read god's word today I open my heart to receive it. Amen. So, we are going to learn from this young man. Anyone who has guessed who? I know the others who are saying other things. Someone is saying Moses, Jacob. Okay, so we're going to learn from Joseph. Joseph, not the father of Jesus, not the earthly father of Jesus. You are going to learn from Joseph, who had many brothers. And I know some of us who have brothers, you know what happens when you have a brother. Eh? You keep on fighting over things that you don't even need to fight over, right? Yeah, so it wasn't different even in Joseph's family. And just to tell us a story, and you are going to read the whole story. So even as we get lessons from him, make time. I know you have time. Make time and read from the word of God and learn everything about this young man that we will not be able to read here. So Joseph, we all know what happened to him. He was loved by his father. This made his other brothers to be jealous. Eh? They thought of doing some very bad things to him. They wanted to kill him. They decided to sell him off as a slave. How many of you have been sold as slaves this year? Have you been sold? No, we are saying it's difficult, but we've not gotten to that point of Joseph, right? So Joseph was sold as a slave. He went in a foreign country, lived with people he did not know, people he had never met. In the foreign land, things happened. He was accused falsely and he ended in prison. I mean, if it was me, I would be there complaining. I don't know 
to who but will be complaining crying and thinking of how my people are so bad and how god is not there but he did not do that and it happens that in this country where he was sold there was a king and who knows the name of this king pharaoh so king pharaoh had a dream and at this time joseph is still in prison not because he had done something wrong mm -mm. he was accused so if it was us we would be bitter eh? thinking of how we can get back at those people who got us in prison but let's see what joseph did so pharaoh had a dream and then there are these people who also were with Joseph in prison and they had a dream and Joseph had interpreted while he was in prison. And so they had, ah, the king has a dream and he cannot interpret it. So they suggest, there is a man in prison. So why don't you go get him so that he can give you an interpretation? And Joseph is brought out of prison to not to be given freedom, but to interpret the king's dream how many of you will do that you say oh no i'm not going how comes they threw me here now they need me didn't they think that i was important he didn't say that he went and so that is where we are going to begin learning what did he do did he go there and show the king how important he was and how they needed him or did he do what god wanted him to do so let us read from the word of god we are going to read genesis chapter 41 genesis is the first book of the bible the old testament so genesis 41 we're going to read a few verses and we skip some i have told you you will read the whole story at home so make sure you do just that so genesis chapter 41 i'll read from verse 1 pharaoh's dream then it came to pass at the end of two full years that pharaoh had a dream and behold he stood by the river suddenly there came up out of the river seven cows, fine looking and fat, and they fed in the middle. Then behold, seven other cows came up after them out of the river, ugly and gaunt, and stood by the other cows on the banks of the river. And the ugly and gaunt cows ate up the seven fine looking and fat cows so pharaoh awoke so that is the dream pharaoh had and it disturbed him he could not make sense out of it and so he was thinking what is this how can fat fine looking cows be eaten swallowed by thin cows who look like they are going to drop dead what does this dream mean and so this is where joseph comes in and when Joseph was called, he came obedient to what God was telling him. He interpreted the dream. He did not walk there prideful like some of us would do. He obeyed the Lord. And that is what makes us learn from him today. What have you learned in this year 2020? As difficult as it is, or as difficult as you say it is, have you drawn some important lessons that will take you into your future or into your days tomorrow, even when you go back to the things you'd love to go back to? Or are you still at that place where you are complaining and thinking of when you will get to do things the same way you used to do them? Be ready to hear what the spirit of god is telling us today from joseph and so since joseph was obedient to the word of god and to the leading of the spirit we are learning that even as as children we need to have quick obedient hands are you obedient have you been obedient to your parents this year 
or do they get to tell you things and you're looking at everything and thinking, ah, mom or dad, you've not been able to do this this year. How comes you want us now to do this for you? Ah, is that you? You think that you obey them because of the things they provide for you? If they are not able to provide, you don't obey them? That is not what God would want of us. He calls us to obey our parents at all season. He is the one that makes sense of every season. Remember, we have said that. And so just like Joseph, we need to be obedient. Have hands that are quick and obedient to do everything that you find that you can do. What is it that you have started doing? Are there things that you are doing this season that you are not doing and you have not sat down and thought, ah, I can't do this, ah, me, I'm a pupil, or oh, I'm a student, or oh, this, no, this is not what I intended to do. Are you making use of this season where you have all the time at home? Are you taking the time to read the word of God and learning from it? What are you doing? Have you been quick and obedient to do the things that you need to do, just like Joseph? So if you have not been doing that, let us learn and be ready to do that which is right before God. The other thing that we are learning from Joseph is that we need to be willing to be different. We have just said he was different. I mean, everyone else would have complained, would have thrown tantrums, would have wanted maybe to be treated as a special person. But he didn't get that before God, God had done all this that God was doing. Eh? But he was there, obedient. Eh? willing to be used of God. He was not used to staying in prison or in a foreign land, but we don't see him complaining. So, where you are right now, are you willing to do things differently? I know there are those who have been learning differently, they have been learning using their gadgets. Others maybe are looking and saying, ah, no, I can't do this, I'm waiting for when school's will open so that we can go back to classes. Are you that kind of a person? Or you are there and you have embraced the season and you have gotten into everything that God is calling you to and you are just enjoying your life with God? Are you? So we need to do things differently. Even at home, for those who cannot be able to do their learning using gadgets, you have books. Have you been reading? Or you're waiting for someone to help you? Have you been doing something constructive? Have you gotten a skill that you are able to do and perfect in it? Or you are thinking, no, me, I'm, I'm still learning. I can't do this or that. Are you? Be willing to do things differently. The other thing that we are learning is we need to be satisfied with God's desire for us. There is something that God has for us. Even in this season, even during this time, it does not matter where, where, whether you are the one who is excited that you're back to school or you are this one who is just staying bored at home and complaining. God has something for you that he wants you to do in this season. So are you in the position to get hold of that which he has for you? Because you are the one who is stopping yourself from getting hold of it. He has released it for you and you need to take that step and be willing to begin doing that which he has already prepared before you. So children let us not sit down and complain let us not look at who is not doing what and who is doing what and compare ourselves with those who maybe are going to school others are having online classes and you are thinking oh no me you want me to sit at home alone and read my books it's so boring uh -uh. there's something for all of us everyone has the time and the chance what you 
use it for is what makes the difference don't look at the other person what they are doing with their time and every chance that they have you have your chance you have your opportunities make good use of your time and stop complaining and comparing yourself with others remember our last summon series we are saying we are not keeping up with jugunas and it can be anyone your neighbors your friends people around you so don't do that live your life the other thing that we are learning or we need to learn and put into practice is we need to open our eyes to see what God has for us. We have said that God has something for us, all of us. Do you know what God has for you? Do you know what God wants you to do today or right now in this season that we have termed difficult? Others look at it as boring. He has something for you. And he will not have bad things for us, would he? He is a loving father. So whatever he has for all of us, it's not like we are going to grumble for these things. He has something special for you. Don't say this one is taking, uh -uh. He has something for all of us. And all we need to do is get to know so what are we saying we are saying that we need to open our eyes we need to ask god to help us in that so that we will see everything that he has for us that which is calling us to that we will live that life that he intended for us and not just sit down look at the season and waste it when he actually intends for us to come out of it better than we were before this year so what is it that you are doing and what is it that you are intending to do now that we know that God has something special for all of us all of us what is it that you are going to do are you going to look at what your friends are doing and want to copy them are you going to look at what everyone around you is doing and want to be like them or you are going to sit down Look at God who is your father, who knows and understands every season and ask him of what he would want you to do or what he would want you to become, where he would want you to go in this season. It is our prayer right here that you children will come out to be children who are respectful, children who are obedient, children who are ready and willing to do that which God is leading them to having quick hands to get into things let us not stop doing that which is right let us not allow our normal eh, the things we are used to to stop us from doing what God would want us to do let us go out wholeheartedly with God and do what God wants us to do and at this point I would want us to rise on our feet and put a declaration to this that we are going to open our ears open our eyes and see and hear that which God has for us
at this point I would want us to go before the Lord in prayers we have heard that which God has for us today we have learned the lesson and I believe with all my heart that you children are going to put into practice every word everything that the Spirit has taught us today and be all that God created us to be and so even as we are praying today I know that some of you are at that place where you are looking at everything and thinking ah this one is not making sense this other one is not I don't even want to be here this year I wish I was not here I wish this and you wish you were not here uh -uh. right now we are just going to commit all those you know the burdens that you are having in your heart all the anxieties that you are having you know you have no idea when you go back to school you have no idea what is going to happen tomorrow you have no idea like right now people are still talking of maybe they are going to have a lockdown again and you are thinking ah oh, no it's boring and others are so tired of putting on their mask and they're thinking oh no uh -uh. so all those other things that we have in our heads and our heart we are going to put them at the feet of Jesus and ask him to help us and then since we have learned from Joseph and we have said that we should not let anything anything stop us so we're going to ask God to remove everything that is in our heart that is stopping us from being all that he created us to be and so children let us all go on our knees and pray <music> So children, we are praying, hands together, heads we bow, let's all pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you, we give you praise, we exalt your holy name this day. You have been a faithful God to us, you have been such a wonderful father, a good, good father in every way. And Lord, we come before you today having learned and realized that indeed lord you are the god who makes sense of all the seasons you are the one who created every season and you know that which you have for all of us even in this season my lord and my god we humble ourselves before thee for the times god that we have looked at this year and just wondered what it is or what is going to come out of it forgetting that we need to look up to you who is the creator who is the one who ordained us who ordained every season that you know even this season that it would come and you had even warned us of it lord we pray and ask for your forgiveness for the times that we have complained for the times that we have sat down and do, and did nothing for the times we have just been there looking to see and wait for when the things will go back to normal instead of getting out and asking you for the things that you want us to do we pray my lord and my god that you will forgive us i pray my father and my god that even for the opportunities that we have missed just sitting down and not being able to see them when you brought them our ways the lord you will forgive us and that you will restore us back to you and enable us to see every opportunity to make us willing god of heaven to go with you even after seeing those opportunity to give us quick obedient hands to do the things that you would want us to do for you god you are always there to hold our hands and guide us even as we do the things that you call us to do and i pray lord that even as you were with Joseph, you guided and led her, him in prison, out of prison, through every trial and tribulation that he went through. The Lord, you will guide us. I know for the children, this season has not made sense at all all but i pray god of heaven that they will find peace in you you who shines peace in our hearts even during the darkest moments of our lives the lord of heaven that is what they will find in you that they will find a meaning to life in this season that they will come out of this season children who are equipped with skills 
with knowledge, with wisdom that will take them even great into the greater future for the greater things that you have planned for them in their future. That this year, God of heaven, will be that year where you restore everything, Lord of heaven, in their hearts that they will be able to look back at this year and see that indeed God was at work and indeed there is something that God did that was good in us that we will celebrate in the days to come and i commit them into your hands lord of heaven this day and pray that you will enable them to be children that are obedient children that are willing to go with you all the way that they will not allow themselves to be stopped by anything by the things they know the lord they will be willing to step into the unknown knowing that you are stepping into it with them I honor you, Lord of heaven, this day and I magnify your name because you are a faithful God and you will do just that for your children. May you bless them, God of heaven. Show them new things that their eyes have not seen. Open their eyes just as we have learned and I know it's their desires to see the thing that you have for them in this season. May you show it to them, Jehovah God, and cause them to do all that they need to do to go with you into the greater heights that you're willing to take them into. Into your hands do we commit them and pray for a special blessing upon them and even upon their parents that they will be able to lead and guide them in this season, that they will come out to be children who are godly, children who are a sun that will shine, a light that will shine into the darkness to all the people around them. For you are a good, good Father. We bless you, Jesus, and we worship your holy name. For it is in the name of Jesus that I do pray, trusting, and believing. Amen. And all the children of God shall say, Amen. And our children, let us all rise in our feet and let us believe in the word of God that he is going to do just that which our heart desires. Time to give. It's time to give money for Jesus. And even as we prepare to give money for Jesus and here are the instructions that we are going to be given by Pastor Sheila, I am not coming back after you have given. And so after you have given your money for Jesus, having followed instructions, we are going to Pastor Sheila to celebrate some of you and the things that you have done. And from me right here and all of us children, it is our prayer that God will lead you into all that he created you to be. So until then, listen to the instructions and give money for Jesus. And now children, it's time for us to give money for Jesus. Are you ready to give money for Jesus? Remember, we worship God with our giving. Yes, so ask mommy and daddy to help you give money for Jesus. For those of us who are in Kenya, our pay bill number is 488508. For those who are in Kenya, our pay bill number is 488508. Zero 08. If you're not in Kenya, do not worry. The details are on your screen. So ask mommy and daddy to help you give money for Jesus. Let's go and worship God with our giving. Woo! I hope you learned the word of God. Uh -huh. I hope you did. Teacher Judy taught you the word of God. I hope you have learned. And we are learning not to waste the season that God has given us. So you need to be quick. Have quick hands to obey. To do every small and big thing. You need to do the things that you are told to do. You need to be learning from God and reading his word every single day. That's what you do. And that's what Joseph did. And when God brought an opportunity for him to become 
successful and big and become the second person in command in Egypt, he was ready. So are you ready? You need to read the word of God every day. You need to pray every day. And just to remind you, our memory verse for this week comes from the book of John chapter 15 verse 5. And it says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, we can do nothing. So without Jesus, we can do nothing. Okay? So children, remain in Jesus. And before we go, here are some of you who did the memory verse. And let's clap for them and cheer them on. Hi, Christian. Hi, Kelia. So what have you been doing the last week? Nothing. What? You haven't read what the Bible says. Not Go and read the Bible Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6. Then, then, go and watch the ants, you lazy person. Watch what they do and be wise. Verse 6. It says, Go to the ant, you sluggard, and consider her ways and be wise. Yay! I am so proud of you, my children, Killian and Christian and Precious. Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! And again, next week, if you're doing the memory verse, skit, whatever it is, send me the video and we'll put it next week in church i hope you will have a great week and remember god loves you and i love you so much from all of us here we love you have a beautiful week my children i love you Mwah. bye Bye.